Well, dangerous and likely to re-offend. That's what prosecutors are saying about Jonathan Soberanis, a man who's been charged on several occasions for sexual offenses against children. Now, all of these cases have been dismissed with a judge ruling he was not competent to stand trial. With new information surrounding a federal case against him, though, prosecutors believe they have enough information to argue he is competent to stand trial. ABC 4's Courtney Johns joining us in studio with the latest on today's competency hearing. Courtney. Emily, in the past reports, psychologists have given Jonathan Sobranis a variety of diagnoses, including autism, depressive disorder, as well as ADHD. And today, a psychologist who has done forensic analysis on hundreds of defendants is sharing her findings. He knows touching children is wrong. He knows looking at children is wrong. He knows it's all wrong. Masturbating in front of a child, crawling into dressing rooms, and aggravated sex abuse of a child. These are just a few things Jonathan Soberanis has been accused of. And in every instance, a judge has dismissed his case. The whole system is broken and he's falling through the cracks. Stephanie Davis says her son is one of Soberanis's victims, peering through her son's window and trying to break in. There were uh, aggravated sexual abuse of a child charges. In addition to her son's case, today Soberanis is accused of touching a naked child at a rec center and urinating on him. Dr. North testifying Soberanis is not competent, despite a separate federal case accusing Soberanis of using the dark web to share child pornography. Do you know uh, how to use end-to-end -end encryption services to hide child pornography? No. So are those, are those tasks beyond the understanding of maybe the average person on the street? Again, I, I'm not an expert. Have you ever tried to get on the dark web? No. Do you have any idea about whether it is difficult or easy to get on the dark web? I do not. Spending nearly two hours on the stand. Do you have any hesitation about your conclusion that Mr. Soberanis is not competent? I have concerns, but not based on Mr. Holland's line of questioning. North admitting there are inconsistencies in Soberanis's evaluations, including an IQ test from 2009 that found him to have average intelligence. As it stands, with all the available information data that I have, although I have concerns about exaggeration and feigning, I still believe that my conclusion was accurate based on that data that Mr. Soberanis is not competent to proceed. Hearing today's testimony, Davis says she's ready to testify next week to the kind of man Soberanis really is. He plays the part in order to get sympathy because he can. This hearing will continue next week. Soberanis is also facing child pornography charges involving children as young as three years old. And that case is being charged in federal court. Back to you.